Hello everybody, how you doing today? We got Jollibee being delivered here in just a second. So this video is going to be me having the chicken joy of eating um, Jollibee because I know a lot of you guys don't have Jollibee. So here you go. Jollibee is a coming. Where are you going, dude? That's him. Why is he leaving now? There he goes. And he's going to call. I'm going to buzz him in. Hopefully he'll get through both doors. And then he'll take the elevator up. And I'll meet him in the hallway. It's typically what I do. Son, anytime. Those fries better be crispy. That's all I'm saying. Dude, John, why is it taking you so long? John! Oh, okay. So, he found his way in the building. And we will talk about the receipt here in a little bit. Let's get this stuff out. So we got some adobo rice. Some fucking gravy. We got peach mango pie. That's for later. And then, oh, they don't even have the thing. Ube pie. Ube pie. And we got some chicken joy. Boom. And we got some french fries that better not be soggy and they feel soggy some napkins and some utensils and my aloha burger and some ketchup all right so here's the scary bee that i don't like very much Let's get into some of this. Are these fries good? Mm. They're not as bad as I was expecting. Okay. So we got the gravy. What do I do first? I don't know what to do. These fries are going to taste better in the gravy. I am going to have my burger. My burg. Oh man, pineapple. So it's pineapple, bacon. Cheese, lettuce, some fucking Aloha sauce shit. I'm not even hungry now. Oh, that's a lot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I do everything fall apart. Man down. Pretty good. Not worth the price. And it does taste kind of soy-based. I knew they did that in other places, but I didn't know they did that here. That burger is um, mainly soy, I think. I'm running out of room for stuff, guys. <laughs> so let's take a look at this chicken joy. Mmm, fried chicken. Very greasy. That bite was crispier. First bite, not crispy. Now, I know I'm supposed to be dipping that in the gravy because that makes it so good, but we're not going to do that yet, and I'm going to save the rest of that for dinner tomorrow or something. I, I can't even fucking finish eating stuff. So what I'm going to do is as I am eating shit, I'll film it, and then maybe at the end we'll have a video. We'll, we'll find out. All right, everybody, I'm editing this video right now, and I realized that I didn't do any of the stuff that I said I was going to do. There was a part of me that thought I was going crazy, and I'm like, wait, did I not film that? And I totally didn't film it. It took me probably three days to finish all the food I got. And if I'm not mistaken, I still think I have the fries in my fridge. Blech. Those did not do well overnight. And like typically I will either throw them in an air fryer or put them in the oven, but they were just not, they were like shriveled up. It was kind of gross. 
Anyway, the thing about Jollibee that, I mean, the chicken's good, the gravy's good, the rice is really good, the adobo rice. But the thing about Jollibee, if you have a Jollibee near you, their pies are so fucking good. And I know everyone likes them hot, but like I put those things in the fridge and I will pop those fuckers out and just eat them cold. And they are so delicious. The ube pie is like my absolute favorite. Like um, they don't have them year round, I don't think. They just have them certain times a year. And so whenever I hear, the whole reason why I ordered Jollibee was because, like, I heard that for a limited time they had the ube pies. So that was, like, my whole reasoning for ordering Jollibee. Um, and for those of you who don't know, there's a Jollibee in L.A. here on, I think it is on Temple or Beverly in between Vermont in Normandy, I believe, if I remember it correctly. And then the only other Jollibee I know of, there's one in, I want to say Hawthorne or Hermosa. It starts with an H, the, the town. And then there's one, I think, in Rosemead. If you are on the 10 freeway, you will see around that area there's a big building that's the Jolly Bee American corporate headquarters or whatever and there's a Jolly Bee inside there um, other than that I don't know if there's any Jolly Bees in America like those are the only ones I know um, I've heard that there's one in Orlando if I'm not mistaken other than that I really have no idea but um, the the mango, the peach mango fruit pie and the ube pies are so fucking good. So if you don't like get anything else at Jollibee other than um, the pies, that's the way to go. If you, I, I wouldn't like recommend everything from an order because when I go into Jollibee, their fries and gravy are so fucking good. But when I got the fries here, they were really gross. The chicken is usually pretty crispy, although the chicken I got was kind of soggy and greasy. And I think it's just because it was delivered. Like, if you get it there right away, it's really good. Um, I think the next time I go... Because, like, I don't mind the soy-based patties or whatever, because I used to eat grillers all the time. Um, the Morning Star Farms thing. But it is a bit of a little bit, of, like a little different flavor. But they have a Aloha chicken sandwich. So I think I'm going to try that. Because their chicken's really good. Their breading's really good. And then having like teriyaki and pineapple and bacon. It's like, hell yeah, please, more. So I would say um, check that out before anything else but um their pies are amazing they're so good so with that said um i hope this was informative and that you try jolly bee home of the scary twerking blinking bee and i will talk to you all later